You're listening to Kizuki, the podcast. I'm Mei Yoshikawa, and I define the Japanese concept of Kizuki as the following Kizuki. One, a moment of epiphany, an aha of realization or insight which opens the knower to a new dimension of truth that was formerly unknown. Two, steps in an incremental growth of awareness. Resulting in a movement from ignorance to greater awareness of the bigger picture. A kind of knowing that cannot be undone, that cannot be unrealized. As a longtime yoga and meditation practitioner, a world traveler, and curious self explorer, I'm obsessed with Kizukis. Listen on each week for inspiring and enlightening stories that may just tip you over for your next aha. On this week's episode, thinking is not smartest. I've been talking to a lot of my friends and students lately, and we've been doing this meditation course, and I'm hearing a lot of comments like this I just catch myself thinking too much. It's like I feel really heavy in my head, but I keep thinking about it and then I write it down and I have to think about it again. And it seems like I'm in this loop. I can't get myself to stop. Welcome. It's called overthinking. It can manifest as worry, anxiety, over planning. Um, it's just a sense of hacking your head with thoughts and ideas and calculations like there's no spaciousness. And listening to them, I got to thinking, well, of course I understand how you feel. I know I've been that way, and I'm quite sure that I still have the tendency to think too much. The difference is that through years of meditation and yoga and certain practices like that, I've learned to catch myself in the motion of too much thinking and found a way to either slow it down or shift gears or just let it go and return to spaciousness. And I really think that's what meditation is about. You know, you sit with yourself, you sit with the current state of your mind. So if you are accustomed to overthinking and you have multiple thoughts running through your mind, it's not like you can sit for meditation and suddenly turn it off. As I understand it, thoughts have momentum. So if you have many thoughts going at high speed, it's not going to come to a screeching halt. You're going to have to slow it down or, or watch it slow down as you kind of take your foot off the accelerator and you observe your thoughts and the busyness of your mind as opposed to being in it and stepping on the gas and being in the thinking mode. And that, of course, takes practice. But as you get more and more used to that, then you get used to the slowing down and you get used to the spaciousness. And slowly, slowly, you get used to less thinking, at least the need for less thinking. Now, I'm calling this episode Thinking is not smartest because I think, you know, for me, somewhere down the line, I realized that the reason why I had leaned so much, over leaned into overthinking is because I used to think that thinking was best and that thinking was smartest and thinking was the way to go because thinking is how you solve problems. And I actually don't believe that anymore. 
Thinking is one way to approach an issue or a problem and sometimes very useful, but it's not always the best or quickest or only way. And then I got to thinking, well, if it's not the best or fastest or only way, then how did I ever get so addicted to overthinking and packing my head with all of these thoughts? And, you know, not to point the finger of blame on the outside or anything, but it is true, I think, that for the most part in modern society and in schools, we're taught to think, you know, like Rene Descartes, I think, therefore I am. Like thinking is, you know, thinking is super cool. <laughs> thinking is the way to go and thinking is how you be intelligent and intelligent is how you be liked and appreciated and acknowledged in the world. Well, you know, all these years of yoga and meditation taught me otherwise. I am first, therefore I can think or not think or speak or not speak or do or not do. But the I am is always first. The I am is original. So I think it's like a huge misconception that the more you think or the better you can think, the smarter you are. Now, that opens kind of a can of worms because if not thinking, then what? Then we have to start talking about, I don't know, intuition, instinct, impulse, See, that's where discretion is required because I am in no way trying to suggest that um, impulsive reactivity is better than thinking, right? That's not where I'm trying to go with this. I guess what I'm trying to say is that awareness is first, right? And from this basis of awareness, the I am, because it is, the isness, you can choose if it's appropriate or how much thinking is helpful and appropriate and how much um, thinking is not because it's not getting you anywhere and it's just making you heavy. Now, that's not to say that impulsive reactivity does any good too, right? So it's, uh, impulsive reactivity is something that we also want to catch in awareness and observe. Um, and, and even utilize reflection and thinking in the form of reflection to, to choose another way. But what I want to talk about is the sense of knowing or knowingness as opposed to thinking. Because thinking engages the mind, meaning it cannot transcend the mind. But a sense of knowing or knowing awareness can observe and therefore transcend the level of the mind. And it's a bit of a mysterious realm to enter into and definitely to talk about because what is knowing and knowingness and where does it come from? Is it the same as intuition or instinct? Um, and quite honestly, I don't have the answers to that, but I do know that when I'm over engaged in thinking, it's physically the head that feels heated and overworked and heavy. Whereas a sense of knowing resides somewhere lower, like in my solar plexus or, or lower abdomen. And it's, it's in the gut. And it's oftentimes for me, silent, wordless, it's not a yapper. It's not yapping about like, what do you know? It's just, it's just isness. It's there and it's clear and 
it nudges me, it invites me to act on that clarity. I don't know if that makes any sense for any of you, but my point is, I learned that thinking is not necessarily smartest. What do you think? Thank you for listening. Learn more about me in my upcoming book, Kizuki, Realizations Beyond Time and Death, at my website, maey.live, or find me on Instagram at maeyoshikawa.